out and about with Dave and uh, today I'm at Brewerina. Um, I hope I got the pronunciation right. We're currently about 135 kilometres west of Walgett on our way to Burke. Um, and it's at Burke that then I'll head southwest and hopefully follow the Dowling River down and hopefully down to where it joins up with um, the Murray down at Wentworth. So um, soon we're going to leave here Brewerina and drive on into Burke but on the way we're going to go across the Bogan River um, which flows into the Barwon River and the Barwon River flows into the Darling River which in turn flows onto the Murray River and then it flows into Lake Alexandrina and down there past south of us, south of Adelaide. So um, the significance for, um, for me is being a Queenslander is that the Condamine River which starts up at the head at Mount Superbus west of uh, Boona flows west, it goes on the other side of the Great Dividing Range and it's the Condamine River that then flows into the Boulogne River um, it takes it all the way up around through Dolby and all this stuff but it flows into the Boulogne River which then flows into the Kalgoa and the Kalgoa joins the Barwon River, this river here where I am and that forms Darling so it flows on and that river system I believe is the largest river system in Australia. So come with me now as we go west and um, follow the uh, Darling River down um, through Outback New South Wales as it says on the brochure here. So let's, let's see what we can see. I haven't done this before so I'm really looking forward to it. Catch you soon. So I probably should have said before we leave Brewerina, Bre Bre um, that all this area is about 120 odd metres above sea level then it goes a long way down to, to South Australia. So it's pretty flat so when the river does flow and flows heavily it floods and so you'll see these um, uh, levee banks and uh, on this road crossing here the levee bank on both sides and then they'll fill this up with soil or sandbags and that sort of stuff when the flood does happen and that protects parts of uh, the area where they are and even the town when they do it. So you'll see these levee banks as you drive around this area um, designed to protect those areas. Let's keep going. So here I am now, we're 60 kilometres down the road and about 40 kilometres from Burke behind me. We're about to cross the Bogan River. Um, now the Bogan River will flow up to the northwest of here and it's going to intersect with the Barwon River. So that's its confluence. And the and then the Barwon River will then join up with the Kalgoa River to form Darling River. So we can't get to that from this side, it's about seven kilometres up that way um, if you were to walk through all that scrub and um, I'm not about to, not this afternoon, I'm looking forward to getting my camp this evening on the, on the banks of the Darling River further up. So let's head on into Burke and we'll have a quick squeeze there but then I'm keen to get into the actual Darling River Road itself. So here we are in Burke now, 40 kilometres down the road and we've dropped about another 10 metres or so, 12 metres and you can see the levee banks being used again to control the river and uh, there's the Darling. So I'm looking forward to going further downstream and checking it all out. Just a quick stop here in Burke, I'm going to fill up with diesel and uh, be on our way. I see a couple of trucks full of hay going east and um, yeah, we're going southwest and south now. Knowing that I left my run down the Darling River a bit late, I uh, kept the pace up and uh, cut some wood on the side of the road and kept on driving into the sunset. And uh, before long I realised the dangers that is driving at night with wildlife on the road. <laughs> 